Russian gas supply to Europe has been diverted to Poland once again on Sunday, German data shows. The conflict over the Yamal Europe pipeline, which usually delivers gas from Russia to Western Europe, continues. German network operator Gasket has today claimed Russia sent the fuel back to Poland for a sixth straight day, a huge blow to the EU, where gas prices have been skyrocketing. Data showed that flows at the mall now metering point on the German-Polish border were today traveling east into Poland at an hourly volume of nearly 1.2 million kilowatt-hours, kWh slash h. They were expected to stay at these levels throughout the day. The ownership of Gascade, part Russian, part German, suggests the issues are the result of a political feud. Gascade is owned by Wiga a joint venture of Gazprom and oil and gas company Wintershall DEA. Wintershall DEA is co-owned by German chemicals group BASF and Russian Letter 1. However, Russia has this week denied accusations that the flow reversal was a political move, stating it was a purely commercial matter. On Thursday, President Vladimir Putin said Moscow was not to blame for Germany's soaring gas prices. He added the EU nation was reselling Russian gas to Poland and Ukraine rather than relieving an overheated market. Germany receives Russian gas through various routes, including Yamal and the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. The Yamal reverse has quickly and unsurprisingly seen Europe's gas prices rocket to record highs, with a 90% increase registered since December 1, costing €180.27. 152 pounds and 42 pence per megawatt hour mw slash h the move of course also rose prices in britain with energy bills expected to grow as much as 50 percent however the crisis is expected to be less of an issue than on the block peter mcnally global lead for industrials metals and energy at third bridge described this as largely a eu problem Mr. McNally told Express.co.uk, Germany was making itself too dependent on Russian gas, and the reality is that Europe needs more gas in the short term and Russia is one of the options. The UK, meanwhile, gets the majority of its imports from Norway, making it less dependent on Russia. Mr. McNally argued, Norway is a big source of the stuff, gas, and having a direct connection certainly benefits the UK.